Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be making a fun Valentine card using products from Pretty Pink Posh. For my card today, I'm using Pretty Pink Posh's Big Valentine Cupcake Die Set, their Half Heart Stencil Set, I have the Decorative Heart Stamp and Coordinating Dies, for a sentiment, I'm using Sentiment Strips Valentine Stamp Set, and I'll also be using the Sentiment Strips Die Set. I'll start off by stenciling the background. I'm using some Off-White Shimmer cardstock, so it has that beautiful pearlescent finish. For the left side of the hearts, I'm using Catherine Pooler's Orange Peel Ink Color. I have my paper in Waffle Flowers Mini Stencil Mat, and I'm holding this stencil in place using some mint tape from scrapbook.com. The nice thing about stenciling on shimmer or pearlescent paper, the ink blends beautifully. With some cardstock, you can't get that real smooth blending, but I find with shimmer cardstock, you can. The color is a little bit lighter compared to using an off-white cardstock. Once I finish with the left side of the hearts, I'll work on the right side of the hearts. It's fun having the two different stencil layers so you can have two different colors on your heart. The ink color is Catherine Pooler's Party Dress. Certain inks when you use on a shimmer or pearlescent finish will take longer to dry. I find Catherine Pooler's inks dry very quickly on the pearlescent cardstock that I'm using. I do let it sit for a few minutes and I'm careful not to touch the inked areas since I don't want the ink to smear. When I know the ink is all dry, I'll cut down this panel to five and one fourth of an inch by four inches. Then I'll layer it on some bright pink cardstock. Put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. This is an American standard A2 size card, five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. I've already gone ahead and die cut out all of the pieces for my cupcake. I have all the die cut pieces in one of scrapbook.com's stack and sort trays. Since there are some tiny little pieces, wanted to make sure I didn't lose anything. I use the same bright pink cardstock color for the wrapper of the cupcake. This is a chocolate cupcake, so I use brown cardstock for the cake portion and a soft orange, sort of a sherbet orange color for the frosting of the cupcake. To attach the cake and also the frosting, I put some double-sided adhesive tape on the back side. I will be popping this up later, but first I want to add the little sentiment stick inside the frosting. I cut out this portion from some silver mirror cardstock putting a little bit of double-sided adhesive tape on the back side, just in the area where I'll be attaching the sentiment flag. And I'll put that flag piece on the back of the little stick. For a sentiment, I cut out XOXO, and I used some pretty glitter paper from my stash. It has orange and pink mixed together, so I thought that color worked perfectly on this card. I'll glue down all those tiny little letters. The fun thing about the frosting, there are cut out areas, so you can easily tuck an object through one of those little slits to make it look like it's actually in the frosting. I did put a piece of double-sided adhesive tape on the back to hold that little stick, and I also trimmed off the very bottom portion of that stick since it won't be visible. Now I'll flip over the cupcake, put foam dimension on the back, using scrapbook.com's one millimeter foam, it's my favorite foam adhesive. It adds that little bit of dimension without making the card super bulky. I'll make sure to get good coverage, putting a piece behind the flag sentiment, one in the center. I'm also putting a tiny bit of glue on the back of that sentiment stick to make sure it adheres to the cupcake. I decided to add some fun sprinkles to the cupcake, and the small sprinkle dies are part of the big Valentine cupcake die set. There are two different sizes of hearts, some small circles, and also the straight little sprinkle pieces. I used two different cardstock colors, the same bright pink and also some white pearlescent cardstock. 
Since the pieces are very small, I'm using an embellishment wand to pick them up. I'll first add that small drop of Barely Art glue, pick up those die cut pieces, then press them on the frosting. And I'm trying to mix up the shapes and colors while adding them on my cupcake. The super tiny circles are actually the inside of the O from the X and O, since there are several images all welded together on one die. Makes it super fast to die cut out all of those pieces when you only have to pass it through your machine one or two times. Now I'll set aside the card and start working on some heart images. I'm using the decorative heart set. I love this set. Pretty Pink Posh has released several similar sets and they're perfect if you don't like to color like me. It includes the outline for three different sizes of hearts and also the solid piece for the three hearts. Plus two different decorative designs for each heart size. I'll first stamp the outline using Honeybee Stamps Intense Black Ink. Then I'll line up the solid heart inside the outline. I'm using the largest and the medium size hearts. For the larger heart, the ink color is Orange Peel from Catherine Pooler, and the medium heart, I'm using Party Dress from Catherine Pooler. And I did ink up that solid heart a couple times to get a nice solid impression. Now it's time to add the decorative piece. For the larger heart, I'm stamping the tiny little hearts using the party dress ink color. For the medium heart, I'm adding the decorative image with a scattering of little polka dots. The ink color is peppermint scrub. By using a mini misty, I was able to stamp all four hearts very quickly. I just simply turned around the paper. After stamping all the hearts, I used the coordinating dies to cut them out. The first image I'll add on the background is the large cupcake. I'll remove the release paper on the foam and adhere the cupcake in the very center of the card. Now I'll add the four stamped hearts on the right and left side of the cupcake. Starting with the larger orange heart, putting one on the right and left side, then I'll add the pink hearts on top. I'm adhering the stamped hearts at different angles. I love how it really fills out the bottom of the card. I have one final pink heart to adhere on the very left side. I also cut out a smaller heart from the same orange pink glitter paper and I'll adhere it on the front of the cupcake wrapper. I've already stamped and cut out the sentiment, Be My Valentine. I use the sentiment strips die set to cut this out. I'll be adding the sentiment on the cupcake wrapper. Since it is going over the glitter heart die cut, I'll first add some scrap cardstock pieces on the right and left side, then I'll put glue on the back and adhere it in place. For a little extra detail on the heart and also the cupcake, I'm using a white gel pen. I'll add highlights on the frosting, the cupcake wrapper, also the cake of the cupcake, plus a little highlight on each of the stamped hearts. This is an easy way to add just that little extra detail. For a final finishing touch, I'm using some glitter brushes from scrapbook.com, adding a little bit of sparkle to all of the sprinkles. Using a pink glitter brush for the pink sprinkles and a clear glitter brush for the white sprinkles. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. I love how this card turned out. I think the pink and orange look so pretty together. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links in the description box below. Pretty Pink Posh never disappoints with their fun releases. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.